If you're looking for a token that's revolutionizing how data is organized on the blockchain, then the graph GRT is exactly what you need to hear about. This token is not only making waves in the Web3 space, but also positioning itself as a key player in the future of decentralized applications. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna, and I've been specializing in divergences, new technologies, and trading strategies for the past 10 years. Today, I'm going to break down what the graph is all about, why it's important, and of course, show you how to read the charts like a pro. So stick around if you want to know how to take advantage of the latest price action. Let's get into it. Okay, so what exactly is the graph GRT and why is everybody talking about it? Think of it like this. The graph is like the Google of blockchain. It helps developers find and organize data from blockchains like Ethereum. But instead of manually going through loads of data, the graph indexes everything for you and lets you search through it. Super easy. They use something called subgraphs, which are like open libraries of blockchain data anyone can access. This is huge for developers who need to quickly pull data for their apps, like Uniswap, for example. No middleman needed, it's all decentralized. The graph token is what powers, of course, the whole ecosystem. Indexers, who are the ones that organize the data, curators, who pick which subgraphs are important, and delegators who are the ones supporting the indexers, all lock up GRT tokens to do their jobs and then get rewarded. Now, before we dive into the juicy price action, let's take a quick look at some stats to get a sense of where GRT stands today. As of today, the graph has a market cap of $1.5 billion and there are about 9.5 billion GRT tokens in circulation. On average, people tend to hold GRT for around 77 days, which is pretty solid. Its all-time high was $2.90, but right now GRT is sitting at just 16 cents. So. If you're talking about a potential recovery back to its previous high, that's nearly an 18x return. I mean, that's some serious upside potential for those of you who are looking for high growth opportunities in the market. All right, let's take a look at what's new in the price trends. This is a weekly candle chart because, as you know by now, I always start by looking at a chart at scale. And in our case, in the case of the graph, the weekly candle chart is the most appropriate. Wait, let me back up for a second. Here you can see all kinds of stuff on my screen. That's from the previous analysis video. You can check it later. But for now, what we really want to talk about is the fact that the price did fall to the very bottom of the channel that we had drawn. It was really unavoidable. I'm not going to go again over all this, but it was the consequences of a reversal type of divergence. And these, as you know by now, are pretty difficult to avoid. Well, so the question is, okay, what now? So first I'm going to clean up a bit and then let's see what we can spot. All right, I'm spotting a reversal type of divergence that is bullish. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to see if you spot it too. There it is. This one is pretty cool with a good potential and I'm super happy to see it because GRT has been a really good reflection of the reality of the crypto market lately. Next, we're gonna have to calculate the price target, so let's do so. For this, we're going to take a look at the MACD line and we're going to take a look at the two lows of the divergence. One of the lows, the last one, we're going to trace a horizontal line to see when it touches the MACD line before the first low. Then we're going to try to understand what is the corresponding price to this specific MACD point. 
And that's how we get our price target. So our price target is about, oh my God, 80 cents. That's about four to five times the price we have today. Granted, that won't happen overnight. And if you look at the charts, the last bit of it, there is a hidden bearish divergence starting to form. But let me reinforce something here. When I usually see a reversal divergence, it tends to materialize. They sometimes are super quick to materialize, sometimes they are delayed. It's difficult to know with accuracy when they will materialize by just looking at that divergence. So what we need to do next is diving into a smaller increment, like a daily candle chart. Let's go. Here, I see a really optimistic chart. We still have our hidden divergence showing up here at this level, but hidden divergences are never set until they are. That means that if the price continues to go up, there will be a new top that we will have to consider and our previous calculations based on the previous two tops will be then obsolete. Also, can you see this W forming as well? This is a double bottom, meaning that the price went one time to challenge the support wall and failed to pass it. Then it went a second time, but failed again. That's a signal that the support is pretty solid. The price could still go for a third time, but with every time it fails passing it, it actually reinforces the barrier as less and less traders will consider selling at that level. Additionally, we can see a new reversal bullish divergence on this chart. Here it is. This is really good to see and I'm going to calculate the price target using the technique I showed earlier. 33 cents and that should happen before the end of November 2024. But forget that divergence because it's actually bigger than it is. The divergence actually extends to a price target of 44 cents before January 2025. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto and you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes and my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.